Former Prime Minister and Killarney member, the Most Honourable Dr Hubert Minn is shedding some light on electricity concerns during his contribution in the House of Assembly Wednesday. He referenced his administration's focus on improving electricity generation during his time in office while improving generation capacity to about 325 megawatts. The purchase of additional Watsila engines, he said, would further improve capacity. As for present concerns? Out of those seven generators that are producing the 132, two are no longer functional. And you know why? Because the new team, you see, governments are supposed to be continuous. They moved who were there and brought in who they brought in others. The maintenance program was not maintained. And therefore, the engines subsequently break down. Now, Madam Speaker, because there were contractual agreement with the manufacturers of the engine, there would have never been a problem in accessing parts if they were needed. But today, there will be problems with parts. So, Madam Speaker, all I say, prepare for the heat. Now, in response, Freetown member and Minister of National Security, the Honorable Wayne Monroe, shared how the previous administration paid out millions in VSAPs when it sent employees home. At the end of the day, Madam Speaker, that is happening. And so BPL is finding itself having to train 25-plus new linesmen because they paid linesmen to go home. And 40 craft and technical apprentices because they sent them home. They must really forget, Madam Speaker, that when they bought seven Watsilla engines, the seven could never be started at the same time because of vibration. The people know this. They talk it. The people in the belly of the beast do.